Greetings all, the practitioner here. Um, I'd like to post a couple of updates regarding the uh, video I did a while back uh, called Apparently I'm an, Autist an Autistic Savant, Let Me Know How You Do. Um, if you remember uh, from that particular video, I posted a link to a test that was based on research by one Dr. Alan Snyder from the Center of the Mind at the University of Sydney in Sydney, Australia. Um, in this particular test, uh, a series of dots were flashed on the screen, and you had to see, um, uh, and you had to guess how many there were. Now, in this particular link I showed you, there was a, there were upper boundaries of between 50 and 150 dots. Um, now, I wanted to give you an update on some of the, uh, on the results and an analysis of the, uh, of the work that I did with it, and, um, possible biases and corrections uh, of those biases, which I thought you guys might be interested in trying. Um, call this a replication attempt with a YouTube populace. So, um, I did a, uh, I did a full, uh, because I had not, I did not know what the actual, um, correct sample size was for conducting a test of this to measure savant capability or savant otherwise. Um, what I, uh, what I, what I did was I did a, a series of 10 runs. Uh, so basically that would be the five trial blocks, right? So I did 50 trials and I got 13 correct. I submitted these results to Dr. Alan Snyder via email, who, uh, who, submit, who submitted back that my capability of getting 13 out of 50 was on par with the average of 5 out of 20 that he was getting with his subjects who had been zapped with the, um, the tra um, uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation, i.e. displaying a savant-like capability. He said that this was above average uh, literal de uh, um, attention to literal detail, but not quite as good as the prestigious savants. Um, however, there was also, um, as I also pointed out on the update of Savant Research, um, I posted a second video uh, which, suge uh, which suggested about how to incorporate some possible aspects of this uh, four-trial range. Um, I did also note that there might be a slim possibility that because there are boundaries placed on, the rep on this, this online version, i.e. a minimum of 50 dots and a maximum of 150 dots, that uh, people could determine the number of dots based on spatial relationships, i.e. the size of a dot compare, of a blue dot compared to the size of the white space surrounding it, and thus make a reasonable extrapolation. I have conducted an experiment since this time, uh, which has involved uh, dropping the zoom feature on, uh, on the Internet Explorer window or your web browser window down to the smallest zoom setting possible. So if your normal zoom setting is at 100%, I would have got, um, I went down to 25%, which is the uh, lowest possible zoom, uh, or the smallest possible zoom that one could get, in the hopes of reducing this um, size bias. Um, I uh, conducted the test again myself, uh, setting four runs this time, as per the five, uh, you know, as per setting 20 trials, uh, as per Dr. Alan Snyder's original experiment, and I still was successfully able to get five out of 20 right. I then proceeded to use this at the 25% zoom setting with approximately six of, uh, randomly selected people um, at my university at Dalhousie uh, in the student union building. Uh, the six people in question did it at 25% and could not get more than uh, three out of 20. So uh, again, uh, you know, and, and uh, could not get more than three out of 20. So again, um, and that was at uh, and that was at the best outset. So. The average was approximately 2.5 out of 20, uh, 2.5 correct out of 20 trials. So here's what I would like uh, all of you viewers to do. I would go back to my original video, apparently I'm an autistic savant, let me know how you do. Click the link in the summary, decrease the zoom on your uh, Internet Explorer or on your web browser window to the, uh, to the farthest out zoom possible, so 25% or whatever the equivalent is, and attempt to conduct the experiment again. If you get five or more uh, correct hits out of four runs. So if you do four runs and if you get uh, more than five correct, uh, then we know that there, uh, that, um, and if I get more than 10% response, uh, sorry, correction, if I get more than 1% response out of, uh, uh, you know, so uh, of the number of response, if I get more than one, maybe 2% um, of the respondents getting more than five out of 20 right at the lowest zoom possible, then we know that there is a spatial relationship bias in this test, which cannot be compensated for. So I hope you guys will be willing to um, do that for me. And um, hopefully with any luck, uh, this final run will be able to uh, put to bed this test once and for all. 
Uh, like I said, the experiment I've done apparently has, uh, has shown this, um, this zoom back should have reduced the bias factor or the learning relationship problem. But nonetheless, I'd like to see how the YouTube community does with this in a sort of um, informal experiment to see whether or not the uh, the reduction of uh, uh, to see whether or not the reduction in zoom, uh, you know, i.e., to see whether or not the zooming out uh, the zooming out feature um, uh, compensates for the bias. So please do let me know. Uh, I would be very interested in seeing whether or not the uh, seeing whether or not my results are due primarily to my Asperger's syndrome or due to a spatial relationship bias. So, like I said, they, uh, your, uh, your guys' results will help me determine uh, what is actually going on with my results, and uh, I would be very interested nonetheless. So, feel free to uh, uh, please post down below, and uh, I, after I've gotten, um, I'm waiting for about 50 comments. Uh, after, I've done fi after I've gotten 50 comments on this video uh, relating to the uh, experimental proposal that I've shown, um, then I will conduct a statistical analysis and present the results in the upcoming video as per the uh, number of comments. Um, of course, the reason I'm waiting for 50 comments is I'm waiting for, um, I'm assuming 50 comments will be a sufficient, uh, especially large sample size to compensate for, you know, non-randomization bias factors. At least that's the hope. So um, give me a shout, let me know how it goes. As soon as I've gotten 50 comments or more um, on, the, on this new video, then hopefully, um, uh, then hopefully uh, we will, uh, um, then hopefully, uh, uh, then hopefully we will, uh, uh, you know, have some better ideas to what's actually going on. Catch you later.